Somebody said the craziest shit to me today, and I just want to share it with you guys. I made a YouTube video, and somebody told me that Juneteenth was not a win for black people simply because it didn't only benefit black people. And he was a pro-black. I'm not a pro-black. I'm a pro-me and I'm a pro-you, right? I don't care what color y'all are. I don't see color. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I know black people hate when they hear that. I know white people be doing that on purpose. I know I sure would. Somebody call me racist, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to kill him with this. I don't see color and watch a black person's head explode. But no, for real, man, I don't be judging motherfuckers off the color of their skin. Excuse my language. I don't be judging people. I judge actions, reputation, and your ability, right? That's what I'm about. But um, but yeah, man, this dude was really in my comment section saying that Juneteenth didn't matter. I think Juneteenth is very important. And I feel like the pro blacks, dude, they are the most poisonous thing to our youth since 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 Young Thug, since Future, since Little Dirk, since drill music. I mean that wholeheartedly, fam. They out here running around complaining, playing the victim, talking about the problem on repeat with reasons that don't make sense, offering no solutions. This ain't a pro-black channel. This is a pro-do-you channel, right? I don't care if you straight, LGBTQ, Zer, Zim, non-binary, non-binary. <laughs> you know, I don't give a damn what you are. Just make sure whatever it is that you are, you get yours, because I'm trying to get mine. And that's really what life is about, bro. I feel like we have been distracted, um, you know, as... As a as a black man, I feel like the people in the black community have have been heavily distracted, right? We we've been so hypnotized on the problem, we stop giving applicable solutions, and we also stop being durable. I feel like we lost our grit. You feel me? Like I am not a pro black. I'm just saying, bro. Like there was once a point in time where we would start building, we would adapt, we would change, we start thinking outside of the box. Nowadays. You don't see none of that. We just curling up in a ball and just 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 taking life and just blaming racism. <laughs> you getting our ass whooped by life and bra- blaming the white man, blaming the government. You know, life ain't that hard here in America in 2024. It's unfortunate. You know, it's unfortunate that we don't have black men that are stronger than, you know, stronger than this. You know, like and there's a reason why the black, you know, our, our black demographic isn't doing that well. And this is why. You don't got no steppers. And what I mean by steppers, not that you're going to go outside and hit somebody upside the head with a lamp. You don't have anybody calling people out on their nonsense, on their hypocrisy. You know, like I did a video a couple of days ago on a on a on a uh, black woman that was on threads that was saying corporate America is racist. I was like, ma'am, you are out of your mind. If, if corporate America was racist, you know, you wouldn't have a job. And she was on threads complaining about working with white people, saying it was exhausting. And I'm like, you're a hypocrite. Imagine if they said that about you. There would be a witch hunt. All those white people would lose their job. You would be out of here. And how is it racist if Juneteenth is a holiday? And that's what sparked the comment, guys. That's what sparked the comment, that guy's comment about saying Juneteenth isn't a win because it doesn't exclusively benefit black people. I'm sick of it, bro. That's 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 why I'm here. And I'm not just here for black people. I'm here for everybody because people be on some bullshit and nobody will say something. I'll say something. I don't care. Right. I'm pro. I'm pro me. I'm not pro black. I'm pro me because I've I've been left out in the cold as a child. I've been left out in the cold as an adult by black people, by my own blood, by strangers. Right. All black left me out in the cold online. I've been tore down, uh, discouraged. Uh, you know, slandered by black people online, but I also have been pushed and encouraged and 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 even helped, right, by white people. Some I don't even know. White people sending me super chats. I haven't gotten a single super chat from a black person yet on any of my lives. Like for real, and that's why I'm pro me, bro. I I don't judge people off the color of their skin. I judge what they're about and what they do. You feel me? Like, I'm just saying, man, let me know what y'all think, fam. Let me know what y'all think. I really don't like doing content like this. I just like to make y'all laugh. You know, I like to talk about real life. I mean, unfortunately, this is real life. And this is kind of the reason why, like, I, I'm going to be real. Sounds messed up. I, I I love black people. I came from a black family. I made a black family. But I don't like the pro-black community because they're... Their mission and their prerogative 
is very divisive. It's very counterproductive. It's it's wasteful as far as time goes. And sometimes it's even wasteful financially. And I just feel like they're constantly they're constantly spinning their wheels, even though tons of people are spending money. They have the clicks, they get the views, but there are such little results that come from them. Like, I just really just don't understand. And I also think it's hypocritical. I'm just not about it. 